Nerd out here showing CSGO Pro Tricks where I made a compilation of unique nades, boosts, and plays from pro players competing in league matches and tournaments. Use these tricks in your own game to outplay the enemy. Let's get started. JKS with an insane wall bang from ramp to lobby, connecting onto Simple as he exits the bomb site, preventing the op going into the next round for Navi. Someone get Dan M on the case right now. It is does look extremely shady. Do I think it's cheats? It could be. This is the most overpowered boost on CT side nuke. All the pro teams are taking advantage of it as the boost puts you in a good position to get the most out of your safe rifle. This is the sweatiest position you could be on T side nuke if you are the lurker in solo holding lobby. There are angles you can see from up on the roof that the CTs can't spot the T's. Besides that, it's a very safe position as CTs often push into lobby for info. If you don't have a molly coming down to lower from ramp for control side, you can instead throw a smoke which will help you take control and assist with the post plant. LXP at the start of the round flashes radio and then he gets up close with a molly jiggle peeking. When he makes contact, he's gonna molotov and falls back. I have also seen pros do this jiggle with a smoke as well. Nice little wall bang coming out of Sphinx through the left door inside apps connected onto Wiz who was gaping up close with the Zeus. Crimbo has a set lineup for a wall bang for any CTs holding from this railing up here. This wall bang can definitely be useful if you know the CTs have a common tendency to play up there. Yofrag smokes off B and then him and Fiku get into the smoke and they phase it out. They have done this play multiple times and it has worked out for them as the T's are not expecting this move. Hetrick has a big pit Molotov from Blong where he aims above this leaf of the tree, then runs forward and left click throw. This Molotov takes care of the back pit even if there's a one way smoke. One of the most common ways to hold B is from coffins, especially holding a tight angle waiting for the contact. One way to punish the CTs for doing this is to nade stack it, which we see Heroic do here, taking Dapson down to 7 HP. Both KD and Stom get boosted into half wall, where they both aim at the respective spots and walk forward and jump through. These double nades were so close onto doing the full 100 HP damage, Tapson was holding the crack angle from Coffins definitely escaped from this one here. If the CT smoke bottom connector, one way you can counter this is to boost inside mid to see over the smoke and then also hit a jump shot. You definitely need a little bit of luck on that shot there. Fit throws the standard stair smoke, then he gets on roof where he's going to molly towards the bench side in front of the smoke by aiming here. Walk forward and jump throw. This Molotov will prevent any CTs trying to push through that smoke. If you're inside dark, you can shoot through this wall here, as well as you saw that gap where you can throw nades through there as well. Mezzi jump spotting is going to make contact and then he's going to fall back where he throws a smoke in front of the bench which then he plays behind after getting the first frag. It also acts as a one way. The T's wrapping are not going to be able to spot him and he can just focus on this left side here. This defensive smoke is definitely one that you'll be seeing a lot more in the pro scene. One trick play you can make when you're jump spotting is to throw the defensive smoke and actually play towards Van here. The T's coming out will think that you're towards the bench side, which you could catch them by surprise here. Before I continue, I just want to let you know this video is not sponsored, so I want to really quickly ask you all if you could smash that subscribe button as I'm so close to my goal of 50k subs and like and comment on the video to help continue to support the work that I do. Did you know when you're on the left side of ramp and you walk up and there's a CT playing behind the sandbag, you can spot their feet here through the bottom of the crate, which the T does here onto Nico Das and gets the early jump onto him. Blame F showing off the ramp sandbag wall bang where you get onto that white dot and then you're just gonna spam that wall right there, takes care of any T's trying to throw the left side smoke. This is the best run boost in CSGO. It's so cool seeing the T's go around from stairs towards B, which we see Flames do here, getting one frag before falling. It's not a new run boost, but it's just so cool to see it pulled off every time. OG are going to take stairs control by doing the Eternal Fire B main run boost, 
where Flames gets run boosted towards the other side, and then he peeks and gets the frag here. So the point of the run boost is to take attention off of the CT and then double peek him. This run boost works perfectly as you saw Buzz's crosshair shifts towards the left and then he tries to come back and gets peeked and killed. Vitaly takes stairs control and they're going to go into this double stack here. One below stairs, one above the stairs. This is the first time that I've seen a stack. Usually we see these stacks towards the mid side for the CTs. Check out this insane off angle Messi holds from behind these stairs that's going to net him two frags. Definitely a very sick angle from Messi. Next up flash mid for flame, stand behind the wall, aim here, then left click throw. The flash totally blinds the two T's boosting. This is the strongest Molotov on Vertigo and Big used it in Blast and I did not know that Blast banned this. So this is the context here following the round. So teams that are participating in Blast don't use this Molotov. However, in ESL, it's not banned and we see it being used multiple times. If you have the opportunity to use it, definitely use it as you see here it comes into great play here. Brolin smokes heaven from jail standing, aims here, then presses run throw bind. Complexity have a two player nade stack for Woodwall from above the water cubby. Floppy stands in the middle of these screws, puts his crosser in the middle of the square, then walk forward and left and right click jump throw. His teammate JT will position with this set of screws, stands, aims at this black dot, walks forward, and left and right click jump throw. Electronic nades monster by standing as shown, then puts his crosser like this, runs forward and left click throw. Right after he is going to shoot the smoke, and this punishes any CTs that try to peek monster early on, killing floppy here. I bet you did not know about this angle Electronic is holding from Pillar. He stands behind the pillar holding the short push out with this off angle that he can see through the gap here. Mezzi with an off angle on the railing inside heaven peeking through the shelf to hold the monster push out past the pillar and gets flashed off the angle then goes back to hold the same angle where he spots and tags up Nexa. From Nexa's POV he was looking elsewhere and he gets his health taken down but you couldn't spot Mezzi at all. Device with an AUG holds long with this tight angle on the right wall and kills both the NIP players. The NIP players were definitely not expecting this position held from Device. Major Smoke's connected from outside B by positioning like this and then he's going to stand up, puts his crosser here, then left click throw. Simple has an easy connector smoke where he stands in front of this pillar, aims here, then jump throw. Annihilation has a mid temple smoke where he's going to position with this bush on the ground, stands up, aims here, then presses the run throw by. IHC uses this smoke early into the round to come out mid to go towards camera to A. JT smokes mid house from top T stairs, a line as shown while standing aims top of this arch, then left and right click jump throw. If you're rotating to A through camera and you're smoked off, you could boost the C over the smoke which Sprout do here. Stair is able to see over the smoke towards Faun, however loses his duel against Zantaras. If you liked the video, please press that thumb button as it really helps and comment below which trick was your favorite. Till next time, Nard out here, peace.